Hi, I'm Tom Lu from Texas. Today, I'm in Rocky Mountain National Park. Rocky Mountain National Park is located in central eastern Colorado. Colorado is one of the most beautiful states in America. The spectacular Rocky Mountain Range runs north-south through Colorado, giving the state diverse geography, mountains, forests, deserts, plains, and canyons. Rocky Mountain National Park, the crown jewel and the centerpiece of Colorado, is one of the most beautiful and popular national parks in the United States, featuring towering peaks, pristine lakes, lush forests, sprawling meadows, and meandering streams. I visited Rocky Mountain National Park for the first time in 2020, and I was fascinated by its natural beauty. Now I'm back to explore further. In 2020, I came to Rocky Mountain through Estes Park, the east gate of the park. Today, I came through Grand Lake, the west gate. In the next few days, we're going to take a look at the extraordinary beauty and the 10,000 years of human history of Rocky Mountain National Park. I flew from Dallas, Texas to Denver, Colorado on June 16th. It was a beautiful summer in the mountain state, filled with plenty of sunshine and low humidity. I drove from Denver to Grand Lake. Grand Lake was home to the famous Grand Lake Lodge, a historic resort where I was going to stay for the next few days. It's 100 mile drive from Denver to Grand Lake, running through some of the American most scenic highways in Rocky Mountains. This is Grand Lake, the deepest and the largest natural lake in Colorado. The town of Grand Lake is a national historic and a scenic landmark. For nearly 150 years, Grand Lake has witnessed dramatic economic transition and human migration in Rocky Mountains. The beautiful Grand Lake is nestled in the majestic Rocky Mountains. It sits at an elevation of 8,369 feet and derives its name from the lake on whose shores it is situated, Grand Lake, the largest natural lake in Colorado. In late 19th century, silver and minerals were discovered in this region, drawing thousands of miners and prospectors and spurring the growth and development In 1881, the town of Grand Lake was established as a mining community. In 1886, when silver and the minerals were no longer making profit, the town was abandoned and the population declined. The remaining residents tried ranching, but instead they found fortune in tourism in 1920s shortly after the adjacent Rocky Mountain National Park was established. Hundreds and thousands of Americans traveled to Rocky Mountain via newly invented motor vehicles. The residents of Grand Lake offered lodging, horseback riding, fishing, and home-cooked meals to visitors. The Grand Lake Lodge Hotel was opened just at the edge of Rocky Mountain National Park in 1920 to serve tourists visiting the park via the Trey Ridge Road. The lodge and its historic district comprise more than 100 structures, including several smaller lodges, many rustic cabins and trails. Its main building contains a lobby a gift shop, a restaurant, and a bar. In 1993, the Grand Lake Lodge was listed in National Register of Historic Places by the United States Department of the Interior. 
The National Register of Historic Places is the United States federal government's official list of districts, sites, buildings, structures, and objects deemed worthy of preservation for their historical significance or great artistic value. The designation recognized the significant contribution to the preservation of the Rocky Mountain rustic style of architecture once so prevalent in the parks throughout the American West. This is Alpine Visitor Center in Rocky Mountain National Park by the Trail Ridge Road. The elevation here is 11,796 feet. This is the highest visitor center in the United States. Perched high in the Rocky Mountains, more than two miles above sea level, the Alpine Visitor Center is isolated, a remote island in the sky. The Alpine Visitor Center includes a wealth of exhibits on the Alpine tundra ecosystem and a gift shop. The Visitor Center opens around Memorial Day and closes around mid-October due to snow and the extreme winter environment. Behind Alpine Visitor Center, there's a trail that leads to the highest summit of the Trail Ridge Road. The elevation there is about 12,000 feet. This is the highest summit of the Trail Ridge Road. The elevation here is 12,000 feet. At 12,900 feet, this is Alpine tundra in Rocky Mountains, an extremely harsh environment with low temperature, high wind, and thin air. No trees grow on this land. Even making this video is extremely hard. The Alpine tundra of Rocky Mountain National Park is vast, covering nearly a third of the park. Though there is tundra in other U.S. national parks, none is as readily accessible as this, offering a rare opportunity to observe and enjoy a wondrous community of highly specialized species. The word tundra originated from Russian, means a land without trees. Arctic or polar Tundra occurs in the far north and the alpine tundra at high elevations. That's the rock that I climbed in 2020. This is Continental Divide in Rocky Mountain National Park. The elevation here is 10,759 feet. Hundreds and millions of years ago, two continental plates, Pacific Plate and Atlantic Plate, drifted from afar and collided here. The lands were uplifted and the Rocky Mountains began to form. Rocky Mountain National Park is one of the highest national parks in the United States. More than 100 peaks rise above 11,000 feet in altitude, including Long's Peak at 14,000 feet. 
These amazing mountains cradle the Estes Valley and the Grand Lake, providing incredible beauty and inspiration. Many of these taller peaks make up the Continental Divide, where snowmelt runs either west to the Pacific Ocean or east to the Atlantic. The park's vistas are accessible by horseback, on foot or by car. The most notable vehicle route being the Trail Ridge Road, a 48-mile mountain highway connecting the east entrance Estes Park and the west entrance Grand Lake. America's iconic mountain highway and also the highest highway in North America. Constructed in 1932, the Trail Ridge Road was designated All-American Road by the U.S. Department of Transportation. An engineering marvel of the century, the road has twists and turns and climbs or descends thousands of feet in a matter of minutes, unfolding spectacular mountain views in quick successions, offering visitors to experience a spectrum of climates, vistas, and wildlife sightings. At the highest point, 12,183 feet elevation, it leads you to the sky, it inspires awe. Before Rocky Mountains were discovered by European explorers, several cultures have passed this way. Prehistoric people hunted elk, deer, and a bighorn sheep in this area. Thousands of years later, Ute and Arapaho Indians walked this ridge while journeying between their summer and winter hunting grounds. Ten miles upstream is the headwater and a humble beginning of Colorado River, one of the mightiest rivers in the world. The river that carved the Grand Canyon. It comes from meltwater in the mountain. Downstream, it's joined by hundreds of tributaries. Its water supports millions of people, vital economy and industry in American Southwest until it reaches Mexico. Walk in solitude among aspens and the pines. Open yourself to the serenity of a clear mountain lake. Push past the boundaries as you summit a mountain. Taking breathtaking views as far as the eyes can see. 
watch spectacular sunsets over rocky mountain peaks. The 2022 Rocky Mountain trip is a revisit of a favorite place, a physical and a spiritual fulfillment of an extraordinary journey to one of America's most magnificent natural wonders. On this journey, I was able to appreciate its beauty in more details, and I learned its history and the culture in more depth. In the vast wilderness and among the majestic peaks, I heard mountains calling. Today, I'm coming home. That's right.